I just had to act as a mediator between my gigantic friend group of the girls in my friend group because people don't know how to act like adults and now I just feel kind of like a little drained. I've been trying to film this video for like 20 minutes, but you know, it's fine. Hello! Wow, that was a very nice voice crack. Let's try that again. Hello! And welcome to another video. Today we are going to be talking about my September wrap up. In the month of September, in the blah, 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 blah. in the month of September, I read a total of six books. I'm going to count it as six books. Now, before we begin, I just want to briefly say, so I'm one of those kinds of people who films after the end of the month because a lot of the time, I know some people film before the end of the month, but I end up reading another book af if I film before the end of the month. Like I know I'm going to end up reading another book. So I usually wait until after October 1st. And I've made a new rule that if I start a book in the month, so say I start a book in September, as long as I start a book in September, if I finish it on October 1st, I still count it as being read in September. So I'm going to start filming these videos after October 1st, so I can consider any book I finish on October 1st to be counted for the- uh, any book I finish on the first of the month to be counted for the book the month before that if I started reading it during that month. And I have two of those types of books. One of them I technically haven't finished, but I'll get there. We'll get there. Don't worry about it. All right! So, now that we've got all of that fun technical stuff out of the way, because I like to start videos off like that. Why? I don't know. Is it entertaining? God, no, it's really not. I'm probably going to have to put something in here that says, hey, y'all should skip to this time link if you want to start the video, because I'm still rambling and it still hasn't started. But the first book I read in the month of September, September, was The Last Magician. I gave this a four to five stars. Now, I believe this book came out in August and I got it from the library like a week after it was it came out after it was published the library is like on top of their shit when it comes to getting new books but i was at the library and i saw it and i was like okay i have to pick this book up and so i read it in the beginning of september because i wasn't able to read it before then but i did read the book and i did highly enjoy it i gave it a four to five stars this book is about magicians in new york and basically they can't leave new york because there's like this border and basically once you try to leave this border you kind of like lose all your magic it was set up by this order of people who aren't magicians but are like highly highly against magicians like they're like they're like this order i don't know what they're called i can't remember but basically our main character has the ability to manipulate time and so she uses this artifact to basically that allows her to time travel and so she goes back in time to when this book this magical mystical book was kidnapped not kidnapped it's a book hello <laughs> When this book was stolen from the order by this magician and his group of friends and the magician disappears with the book And so basically she wants to stop him from disappearing with the book because she wants to use the book to break the border in the future And so she goes back and joins this group of people as they do all that kind of stuff And she kind of like falls in love with the magician because obviously that's what happens I mean clearly and I thought it was a really cool book I kind of just wanted them together the whole time and then I got to the end of the book and I got to this point in the book where I kind of like I put it down and I didn't didn't really want to pick it back up again and I did that a couple times during the book and it's not that the book wasn't good I just kind of got tired you know you get tired of reading the same old same old and then you get read it again and you're sucked back in and you're like what was my problem why did I ever stop reading this why did I want to stop reading this what was I doing I don't know but that's my problem I have that problem all the time I feel like I'm talking really fast am I talking really fast maybe just maybe but it was a really good book and it did live up to my expectations on some level um i just i had to knock it down to a four out of five stars when it typically would have been a five out of five stars because i wasn't able to like read it you know what i mean yeah so the second book i read this month i'm going to be counting technically as having read this month i think i started it in august and that book is the house on mango street i cannot remember who it's by cisnero sandra cisnero i think that's her name Something like that. Cicero. 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 I don't know. But it's 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 freaking it's Spanish. I took French. I can't. I don't know how to pronounce Spanish things. I'm sorry. But I read this for my creative writing class, and it was a really good book. I really enjoyed it. I don't really have a review on it or any opinions on it because again, I read it for my creative writing class. But it was really cool. It had some really good imagery. She's very good at what she does. And they're basically all vignettes. If you haven't read it yet, I would highly recommend it because it's really, really interesting to read. And it definitely, she has such good voice. I can't get over how, how good her, like, how good her voice is when it comes to characters and writing stories like that. But I technically read this in September. I think I started 
it in August, but I finished it in September, so I just counted it as, as my September read, because, yeah. The third book I read this month, I actually have a physical book for, and that book was A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas. In my TBR for, uh, for September, I said that I was going to read this book, and I did end up reading this book. I'm pretty proud of myself. Look at those sticky notes. Y'all should wait till you see the second book. I have technically read the second book. We'll get there. But I finished the first book, and I finished this book in like a day or two. I don't remember, but I started it like in the weekend, and I finished it in the weekend, and then I started the second book, because I hate myself. But this is a really, really cool book. It's kind of a very loose Beauty and the Beast retelling. Um, I will get into that in my review. I am going to be filming a full-length review for this book soon. I finished this book a couple of weeks ago, and I haven't filmed the review for it yet, and I'm mad at myself for doing so, but I am going to be filming the review for this book very, very soon. I'm super excited to get to the review for this book, but it's kind of a Beauty and the Beast retelling. It has to do with the human realm and the fate in the fairy realm have been separated. There's basically a border between them. And our main character's name is Feyre, and she is a human, and basically one, she's a hunter, um, and basically her family's starving. It's winter, and she basically hunts for her family to get food. And so she's out hunting one day when she sees this wolf. And the fairies, the humans and the fairies have a very strained relationship. There is a lot of backstory, so I'm not going to get too in-depth, but basically she ends up killing a fairy who was this wolf and gets taken by this guy named Tamlin. And basically they fall in love with each other, and that's kind of all I can tell you without spoiling anything. I'm just going to mention that I hate Tamlin, um, I do not like him, and that's basically all I'm going to say about this book without getting too into the spoilers and too into the spoiler for my review for this book, but I gave this book a 5 plus out of 5 stars. I love this series, I am obsessed with it, and Sarah J Maas is an amazing writer and I'm so excited to get in front of glass because of that. Um, but I love, it was amazing, oh my god, it was so good. And you have, and I have sticky notes here, and they look like a lot, but they're really not. And I guess maybe I'm just kind of a little bit tinted by the second book, but you know. But yeah, I read this book and it was amazing. Wow. The next book I read in the month of September was actually an audiobook that I listened to, and that book is Sleeping Giants by someone that I cannot remember the name of. But it was a really good book. I think I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. Maybe I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. I think I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. I didn't really see the point of the book. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um, it was a good book. Like, I liked listening to the audiobook. It was very enjoyable. And I was highly entertained when I was listening to it, but I was just kind of confused the entire time because why did it need to be a book? It's basically about these people, these scientists, who go and hunt down all these parts to this giant that they discovered, and then they discovered that they can, like control the giant and so they put it together and they have to control it and they have pilots and that's kind of the idea behind it and that's kind of like what it is and there's a whole bunch of drama and stuff that happens because of it and it's very weird and I just kind of maybe I just didn't understand the concept of the story but I didn't really know what was happening so I I kind of just gave it a three out of five stars I don't know, it was good. Like I said, I enjoyed it. I just didn't really know what was happening. So I don't really understand like the point of the story. I must have missed it. It must have been in there somewhere and I just missed it. Who knows? But I, that was that was the audiobook that I listened to this month. The next book that I read in the month of September was Caraval by Stephanie Garber. I started this book on the last day of September. This is one of those ones where I'm saying this is why I can't film videos early. And I finished it October 1st. I had a hundred, I had like less than a hundred pages. I had around a hundred pages of this book left and I finished it yesterday. Um, today's October 2nd, timestamp on this film, but I highly, highly enjoyed this book. I think I gave it a five out of five stars. It was amazing. Basically, if you don't know, it has to do with these two sisters who basically ask this guy named Legend, who runs the Caraval, to send them to Caraval, and he invites them to come, and they go and play, and then her sister gets kidnapped in it, and so she becomes the main part of the game, and basically she has to go and 
save her sister and find her sister to be able to win the game and win a wish and it's kind of very interesting. It has a lot of mystery in it, it has a lot of magic in it, and it's so great it's imagery, and I love the characters, and I love the storyline, and it's amazing. That's all I'm gonna say about this book. I gave it a five out of five stars. I don't know what people, were, I, I heard some bad reviews on this, and I don't know what people were talking about. I highly enjoyed it, but yeah. And now this last book is the complicated one. So this last book is a Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. This is the second book in the Court of Thorns and Roses series, um, which I read the first book to earlier this month. Right after I finished the first book, I picked up this book, and this book is 630 pages long. Yeah, it's a 630 page long book. I was not planning on reading this book this month at all. Like, at all at all. I really wasn't planning on reading this book this month. But I fell in love with Akatar, and so I picked this book up. And I got, like, 200 pages into this book before I put it down. And I picked it up the day I finished Akatar. That's sad. A little bit sad. And so I kind of kept reading, and then I got about 360 pages into the book, right? And then I kind of stopped reading for a little while because that's a lot of high fantasy. And high fantasy is a lot. It's a lot. And I read A Court of Thorns and Roses in like a day or two. And then I read the first half of this book within two days. And so in total, I read roughly 600 pages, 700 pages of a high fantasy series within like four days. And I kind of just died a little bit inside, you know? You know that feeling when you're just kind of like, I'm overwhelmed. So I kind of stopped reading. And I didn't pick anything up until I picked up um, Caraval. I tried to read The A Darker Shade of Magic, but I wasn't able to finish it because I had to return it to the library. Um, and I started it kind of late. And so I'm kind of disappointed in myself for doing that. But I decided yesterday... To pick this book back up and I was at 360 pages into the book. I read roughly 200 pages of this book. I have 80 pages of this book left. Again this is a 630 page book. That means I am 550 pages into this book. This is what the side looks like by the way. This is what my sticky notes look like. I I am 550 pages in this book. I still have 80 pages left of it. I'm going to probably finish it tonight, but I have to count this as having read in September because I read the vast majority of this book in September and on October 1st, and I'm still not done. And this book counts basically, it's it's a 630 page book. This is like two page, this is like two books in one book. I'm counting it as having read in September. And that is basically what I read in the month of September. And that's, that's all, I'm done. I can't, like, I can't do it anymore. Um, I'm going to have reviews coming for Akatar and Akamath very, very soon, two separate reviews. I'm going to have a video talking about how I rate books and hearing how you guys rate books. And I'm also going to to be doing a video on what I'm going to be reading in October, so look out for that. That video is probably going to come the day after I finish, after this video comes up. This video is probably coming out tonight. Who knows? We'll see. But anyways, that is all for this video. I'm sorry for blabbering. I'm sorry for talking so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>